the, these ladies are saying they want you to test what they eat. Um, oh. We were in southern Zimbabwe in a region called the Matobo Hills, which extends around 3,000 square kilometers. With over 3,500 known rock art sites found inside caves, cliffs, and boulders, these magnificent granite hills contain the largest concentration of rock art on the entire African continent. Actually, one such art site was right next to a host house underneath a ledge of a boulder that we got to explore. Yeah. They're pretty protected. These rock sites were created by hunter-gatherer Sans people who were the first to settle this yeah. area. Oh. You can tell there was more. Oh, it got kind of washed away. Time. More right here, Katie. See another one. After stopping by the rock art, we headed down to Zukwe, which featured one of these large boulders that I've been wanting to climb. So early the next morning, I left Katie in bed and headed out to accomplish just that. I am in Zukwe and it's early in the morning before we get started with our day here. And the goal this morning is to get to the top of this rock mountain up here. So that's what I'm gonna do. What I'm gonna attempt to do if I can find a good area to start climbing up it. So let's continue on. This is the same bed that I've seen the locals get their water from. It's pretty dried up right now. All right, looks like I found the base of the mountain. An easy access point. Climb all the way up to the top. This turns out to be a good spot. Good morning, everybody. So, shit stretched. This area displays very unique rock landforms, like Zukwe, that rises above the granite shield that covers much of Zimbabwe. These large boulders give plenty of natural shelters. And because of this, it has been associated with human occupation from the early Stone Age to early historical times. The hills also feature a national park, aptly named Matobo National Park. The question is, how to get from this rock to the next rock, does it? There's an easy access point or is it pretty steep? a little steeper this way to get to the top that way or if I went around up and along the ridge I don't know much how much growth is right there I'm gonna try to attempt to go snake my way up and around that, those trees or owls came up right upon them right over there there are a lot of loose rocks around here it seems like
Might have to come down the other way. All right, getting a little closer. Tonight was pretty cold. I wouldn't say it was as cold as our first two nights here. There was a cold front that came in, and then it went. So, it's been pretty chilly here, but not unbearable. That being said, Katie and I, when we went to town, in between places, we had to get a couple of blankets because we did not bring enough blankets all I brought was like a very thin fleece blanket so and that has helped out tremendously especially out here in Zukwe but it has been amazing and this is the view I'm gonna try to go up to the very top. But you're not really you're not really gonna catch the view up there. Because there's a lot of vegetation and trees. staying we're staying right over there actually it's more where the rock is hiding it that's where we're staying beautiful country well what I can tell uh, this is the high point here. Actually, I think that's the high point. Dang it. Ah. But I think that's on a separate, separate knoll or separate hill. I'm gonna be satisfied with what I have now. Cause I'm pretty tired. I know they have a lot of apes and monkeys that live up on this mountain. I think they are in the valleys right now eating. And I don't want to be caught up here with them. So I think this is where they spend their days. So my time is running out. Made it to the top of this peak. And it's time to make a sketchy journey down. Okay, so I did go up to the top of this rock here. And, but it's just when I was up on this rock that I noticed that there was another peak on the other side that was a little higher. It would have been nice to hit that taller peak, but I did hit my goal. Afterwards, I was rewarded by some tea and homemade bread made by the locals, which was the perfect way to end the hike. No? Yeah. Mm. Okay. You, if you want, you can test. I know maybe you might not just a little bit. The, these ladies are saying they want you to test what they eat um, in the morning. 
Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Great. Just, just uh, this is the prayer that they they're make very, every day. They're very thorough. Mm -hmm. Just tear it off. Yeah, you can just just a little bit just to 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 test. You don't need to take a a, a, a wall, and then maybe if you. But when I come to the States, please don't make me test a snail or something. <laughs> <laughs> Just hear it and then. Uh, mm, mm. It's good. It is really good. Really good. That's mm. a good flavor. Pretty good, huh? Yeah, it's really good. It's really fresh. If you need them, this is fresh. So that is all. I hope you all enjoyed my morning hike here in Zukwe. Been wanting to do this hike for a while and it was really rewarding so if you're ever in this area try to climb one of these granite mountains that they have out here they just look like giant rocks giant granite boulders that's what they look like just dotting the landscape so i always wanted to do that and what's a better way to start sunday morning Thanks for watching.